Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Castle Talk with Shell. Uh, today we are talking about episode two of Castle Rock on Hulu. Habeas Corpus is the name of this episode. Um, before we jump into the actual episode itself, I want to go over all the wonderful stuff that um, I found uh, in the opening credits. The, all, I think I managed to get all of the Easter eggs. We sat there last night and I was hit pause. About 15 minutes worth of pause. 15 minutes wait, worth of it. go back just a little bit. Go okay, into pause. The, yes. Go, wait, yes. Was, did you see that? I wasn't making her do it. Mm. Though. I was doing it. I was doing it. I was like, did I you was guys see that? I was waiting on the like, show, guys. Yes, she was sitting there waiting on the show. Mm. And I was like, pause, click. I have my but I, I had to get through it because we got like 20 things to go over. We got a lot to unpack before we even get into the show. It's Luckily, or unluckily, not much happened in the show, so would that part of this video is going to be kind of shorter so anyways all right first off you have chapter 19 there's a page is ripped across it says chapter 19 is chapter 19 of salem's lot um above it it says uh and the lights went out something like that but below it says petrie when mark petrie from uh salem's lot you have uh upside down in a file you have misery returns so i'm thinking that's you know paul's of course the paul sheldon book um the the green mile stuff you have the mouse on the mile and the two girls uh both those is explicitly stated right there on the screen um there's one thing where it says they all float or something having to do with float um and of course that's that's pennywise uh cujo is mentioned he, he just a piece of paper written there a uh, little talk that then there's a map of the area from it's the eclipse map from Dolores Claiborne and that Gerald's game really cool. I enjoyed the map. Um, written on the map are some very interesting things first off you have little tall island and storm of the century which is what I mentioned in yesterday's episode um, so hopefully that will come into play at some point in time you also have storm of the century like I said is actually written on the map it's written in between Castle Rock and little tall island like I said the reach that freezes over um, and all that is in uh, Storm of the Century. Haven is on the map. Not only is Haven on the map but there's an X that marks the spot and says crash site. So you got the Tommy knockers. Um, it's the like I said it's the eclipse map from uh, that both Dolores Claiborne and Gerald's game have in it. Um, Arrowhead is on the map, and Arrowhead is the Arrowhead project from The Mist. Uh, let's see here. Derry's on the map. Uh, wait, oh, I'm the, taking out notes. Yeah, I, I'm going through all my notes so we don't miss anything. Um, and then there's a sun that's kind of off in the corner. It's either from different seasons or it's from Dolores Claiborne. I actually think it's from the hardcover of Dolores Claiborne, actually on the dust jacket. Not dust jacket underneath the boards I have it over here I guess I could just check um, 1408 is written down in the bottom corner of one scene um, but it's tricksy because it looks like 1908 the 4 looks like a 9 but if you look really close it's 1408 um, and the new cover from it the this one back here I'm gonna, special print stuff I'm gonna drop a Funko Pop specifically this one is shown both the byline down here, this, and this, the the grinning face are shown torn in different scenes. But the coolest stuff I found was all the shining stuff. Um, it says red it's rum, hot. that's easy. There's one if you pause it, if you're looking at the screen it's to the left and it's very blurry but it says all work and no play make Jack a dull boy, that, that thing from the shining. Um, but this was my favorite part. And I got a kick out of this. At one point in time, it pops up on the screen, a little ripped piece of paper that says 217, 217, which is the room from The Shining, the book. But later on, after like Cujo flashes and stuff like that, if you, if you watch, it's right toward the end. It's up in kind of closer to the top right corner. 217 is crossed out and 237 is written in red ink above it. 237 is the room from the shining Kubrick, the Kubrick version. So I got I got a kick out of all that stuff hunting. If, if I missed anything, let me know down there in the comments below. I think I caught everything. Like I said, 15 minutes of just picking apart the opening credits. The episode wasn't but 44 minutes long, so I spent 15 minutes. It took us an hour and a half just to watch the thing because all the pausing I was doing in that episode. So 
Um, right off the bat, we jump into the episode. They mention, I mean, it was it's just an Easter egg vomit fest right at the beginning. They mention Cujo, the rabid dog. Yeah. They mention um, the uh, the strangler, Frank Dodd from the Dead Zone. They mention uh, the boy on the tracks. Uh, that of course, Old Harlow Road. That would be um, uh, the body or Stand by Me for you. The, for you people who only know it by that. Yes, thank you very much yes. for that. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, um, and then they also mentioned that there's a headline that says, I'm going to give Shell her time. Just give what? me a second. We, we no, I, know, I know. I'm just letting them know. They're like, why? Well, Shell ain't talked yet. Um, shopkeeper, right it says shopkeeper missing headline. I'm wondering if that's Leland Gaunt. I'm wondering if, because Alan Pangborn in this is now old. Um, so I'm wondering if that's already occurred and no, Leland Needful Things. He's the okay. shop owner in Needful Things. Um, there's a woman named Torrance in, what was that thing, the the town meeting or whatever, or was it church? I think they were at the church. They were at the church and it was like the prayer buddy system or whatever yeah. and he said Mrs. Torrance, I got a kick out of that of course, Wendy, Jack, and Danny Torrance. Um, and then Storm of 1991, I'm thinking that's Storm of the Century. So that's all my notes for part two. What do you want to say about um, it? All these boys missing, y'all. What's going on with this town and these boys? It's like they don't like boys or something. Something is wrong. Three boys and some major issues going on. I'm, I'm not cool with that. I think they are all connected for whatever reason, be it probably supernatural. Um, but I can't wait to find out what. Um, be cool. There's one thing that's said in the episode when Pangborn is reading the note that uh, Ogden Lacey. Oh, look, hang on. What cut? Lord, the AC been on this whole time. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Y'all just going to have to. I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't realize that the AC was on the entire time. It's been muggy Hopef around. Yes. Hopefully. I was like, I'm so comfortable this time. I wonder why. <laughs> All the air has been on that entire time, so if the sound sucks, I apologize. I don't want to re-record all that again. Um, so, uh, what was I saying? We were talking about... Oh, you just said Pangborn. Pangborn um, was reading the note from uh, Lacey, who might yeah. be Ogden Lacey, I'm not sure. Reading the note from Lacey, um, and it says... Uh, Lacey says that he had the devil in a cage. So, I'm honestly considering the, the idea that Nick... As we, as we come to call him in episode 3, and we'll get to that when we get to that episode, um, that Nick is either Randall Flagg, or he's the Crimson King, or he's somehow attached to the Crimson King. And the you reason know, why, our, our homie that's locked up, up yeah. in that cell. Um, or Bill Skarsgård, yeah. Pennywise, whatever you want to call him. Um, the, the reason why I'm even uh, considering the Crimson King is because at one point in time, his eyes are super red, and the... the, the, the I guess the marker, the calling card for the Crimson King is the red eye. So, um, I, I'm probably digging too deep into it, but I was really hunting <laughs> hunting for these uh, for these clues. So, uh, yeah, you got anything else you want to talk about? I don't think so. I think I'm good. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lacey, before, you know, all the, the weirdness, was he protecting some major secret going on or something? The entire town. Yeah, was he protecting the entire town? It opens up. He, we forgot to talk about it. it. Opens up with his brother, his oh, brother yeah, killing yeah, himself. Yeah, the, the poor mascot, brother man, dude. Yeah, that's that a was, way to go out. Of, yeah, mm, that there's was hurt. A, there's a bunch of suicides going on in this town. Um, there's uh, also somebody in the comments brought up that Lacey's wife, in the in in the show uh she was in the mist tv series oh, yeah. uh, on yeah. netflix the netflix series um so that's another connection that i didn't mention yesterday i didn't even know about um because i haven't we we got we watched like half the first episode of the of the mist and, and we, we didn't like, no nah, nah, we didn't like care it. too much for it so i guess that's everything for episode two habeas corpus um, if you caught anything that we didn't catch, if there's anything you want to discuss, please hit us up down there in the doobly-doo, and we'd be more than happy to discuss it with you. Any theories, I don't care how outlandish they are, it's all fun. But until next time, <clears throat> I need to clear my throat before I try to do my outro. Until next time, mm -hmm. I have been E, you have been you, thanks for watching another episode with Castle Rock with... Chill. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!